So I'm in the E46, and I think we got a front bushing, lower control arm bushing gone bad. When we first bought this car, the uh, went through a parking lot with a little you know, rough pavement. You could hear it popping and stuff, so we knew we probably had to replace it, but now I believe it's totally failed because I think we're getting a lot of lower control arm movement when I brake. So I'm going to show you kind of what that looks like. You can hear it popping, and you'll be able to see, hopefully you'll be able to see the steering wheel. Not only the steering wheel kind of pull to the side, but also, um, and it pulls pretty hard to the left, I believe, but also you'll be able to see, if I hold high enough, you'll see the whole front of the car, front of the car kind of move over. So let's just get just a little bit of speed here. That's the brake on and off. And so that lower control arm is just getting uh, pulled out of out of position. So we gotta get that tightened up. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, replace the front right and left bushing on the control arm so we'll get up underneath the car and get that done. So we wanted to end up with these jack stands on these jacking points and so we couldn't lift from here. So we found way up under, we could reach this frame rail is where we ended up lifting the, the car up. We lifted it here and then supported it by the jack stand on the jacking point and did the same for the other side. So we got this car now safely lifted. We'll be able to remove the wheels and uh, see what the next progress is. Okay, Houston, we may have a problem. So while the car was on the ground, we busted these loose, and now we just just broke them loose, and now we're we can finish removing them. Okay, so this is the driver's front hub assembly that we were shaking that wheel, and it moved so much. Now that we got the tire off, and we can shake it, we can see there's the bushing that we were thinking that was bad. And you can see that all the all the rubber is just completely gone. That's what we expected. These actually do go out on these cars. It's kind of a common thing. It's actually kind of an easy fix. The hard part typically is getting the rubber portion of that bushing off that lower control arm. Um, I don't think we'll have problems on this one. But we're going to do both sides. And um, let me get you another shot. Wiggle that again, Spence. We had so much movement as we were braking. Okay again this is the driver's side here's this lower uh, it's a lower control arm they call it a wishbone and um, the bad piece is back there we're gonna take just those two bolts off so all it really takes it's kinda bare to get that rubber off the back wishbone but um, we'll deal with that this will probably fall off and we'll just cut the rubber off everything else looks like a decent shape what size wrench is that? 16. 16 millimeter Uh -oh. Okay, so we're going to need to just avoid taking off that support bar. Let's, we'll just use a wrench on that other one. I feel I'm going to take that brace off to get the new one on. I don't know. It's not moving. Like when I do this, and then yeah. I hit it, it just goes boop, boop, and takes all the blow. Boop, push that all the way up. Take away that movement. Yeah. 
But yeah, just right up in there to get that top side moving. So the piece of rubber that's left on that end of that wishbone, we've tried to beat it off to the end. It can't get it, so we're gonna act, we're gonna turn out and we're gonna grind it off. All right, go ahead. All right, let's go talk about what we found out. All right, so let's talk through this now that we got this off. And I'm hoping while you know turning wrenches sometimes is boring, maybe this will be the best part of the video. It's kind of where we look at what's wrong or what, how this thing was made, and that really helps us understand, first of all, maybe how things come off and stuff. This is the new, when you buy a new bushing, you really get the bushing, which is this piece and inward, as well as this new bracket. Um, and just, just to note this bracket, this is the side that's, uh, the bolts go on on the inside. It's got some positioning pins that are still on the car So we got to make sure when we push this on that uh, wishbone. We got to push it on the right direction. That's number one um, As well as got a little bit of a chamfer here a little bit different, but anyway you got this bushing what happens is um, this is built just like the um, The bushing that is in the rear subframe that we've also replaced on this same car where you have a, a metal sleeve on the outside of the bushing you got some rubber and then you got another piece, this piece right here on the outside of my thumb, a little thin piece, that's actually a piece of metal, steel, that's covered in rubber. And then you got a little bit more rubber on the inside that goes against the um, that actual wishbone. So it's uh, steel, rubber, steel, rubber. And uh, this thing's also keyed, it actually looks like a hexagon. So it's got to go in there on a certain way, and we'll make sure that gets on that way. But again, we learned from what uh, what happened to this old one. What happened is that rubber between this steel piece and this steel sleeve here, that rubber failed, and this has just been bouncing around in there. Um, this piece bounced around, and uh, that's what gave us all that slop. And that's what was popping when we would go through a um, say a parking lot that was a little bit uneven as well as when we push the brake it would move this thing would move over a half inch well that made the wheel pull back about a whole inch and uh, really made it kind of dangerous to drive so this fell off the once we got um, you can see some failure in there too um, this was able to really pull that off that wishbone pretty easily but this piece is just uh, and I'd seen videos um, actually a TV show once showed this exact car with this problem you know this this is pretty stuck on there so we end up having to take a grinder we ground enough to barely break through that so then we use a screwdriver to pry it open and break this off to be able to slide this off the um, the new one we'll put a little bit of oil in this piece here and then we'll hammer the new one on so we can get that on there but uh, you know it's kind of neat sometimes to take these things apart and see how they kind of actually work you can see the steel here that's that piece that's uh, this component right there so just note that that's all in there and uh, another note is we with the car up and everything we're looking at everything when we bought this car about three years ago the guy told us that he rebuilt the passenger side so we've now inspected that and sure enough that bushing is looks brand new so we're not gonna take the other one off um, we're gonna go ahead and let it ride I do have I bought these in a pair so I do have the other side um, it, it's quite a bit of work um, we were fortunate, I guess, really, that ours failed so much that this fell off and we could do what we did. I'm really trying to figure out how, if we wanted to replace that passenger side, what the best method of getting this off. Because being rubber in here, when you beat on it, it just it kind of absorbs half your shock. And um, just going to make it difficult. So I wanted to show you how this looks so that as you're trying to pull yours apart, you'll have a better idea of a better of attack um, to get that done. So... We're going to stop now and, and uh, let's get this new one pushed on and uh, mounted up. Partly on there? Yeah. 
it sliding on. Wow. It, it took a miracle to get that off and we were able to put a little bit of oil on there and slide it right onto that post. That's amazing. I believe that's it. Will that line up? Yeah. And then it should, um, these little, pull that off. So these posts right here, before we go into that, there was a big uh, relief cut on the back side. So we just got to line it up and get it pushed onto those posts. And then these, I got the two bolts here. So can you get it on there and get it flush? Yeah. Okay, we're about ready to put this back together, and we determined if we took this one bolt off of this bracket, this brace, that this bar comes down a little bit enough, we can get a socket on uh, the two bolts that we got to torque up. These bolts are M10s, and they are a, the, the hardness is 10.8, according to the internet, and therefore we're going to torque these to 53 foot-pounds. Then we're going to price this last piece and we'll be done. Interestingly, it it took us 30 to 45 minutes to get that bushing off. It took us one minute to get it all reassembled. That's, that's how this job goes. It's hard to take those things apart. It's very simple to put this back on. So we're going to wrap this up, get our wheel back on, both wheels, and get it lowered to the ground and go for a test drive. If you've enjoyed or learned from the contents of this video, please click the like button. It's the simplest way to provide me some feedback to let me know that it was helpful. On the left, there's a link to a playlist that will contain all the videos for this vehicle, as well as a link to subscribe to my channel with all my other goodie videos. And remember, with a little bit of insight, you can do it too.